Hi guys, today we're going to be looking at the Raspberry Pi 7-inch touchscreen display. Uh, this is from element14.com. I got this quite a while ago, I just never really had a purpose for it, and now I do. So, here's a Raspberry Pi 2 that I configured earlier. This is the little keyboard that I'm going to use with it. If I need to, I use that to configure the wireless there, and this is just the dongle for the keyboard. The other thing I think I need is a USB micro, at least I think I need one of those. Let's take a look at what's inside the box. So first things first, there's a safety guide, but this is not an instruction booklet. Next after that, there's some screws and standoffy bits. There's the controller. This is not a Raspberry Pi. It's just the controller that interfaces between this and the screen. It's got some jumper cables. And it's got the ribbon to connect this to this. Besides that, there is also a 7-inch screen that's in here. That's it. Now, as I said, this doesn't actually come with instructions, so you're kind of on your own. Hopefully watching this video will give you a pretty good idea what to do. There's the screen itself. It's got a uh, protective film on it. Uh, these, these are not defects. This is just the protective screen. Uh, besides that, I'm going to need uh, this. Now, what I understand with this piece is... You put the power in here, and this is, yeah, you can see it actually. Okay, let's just look, let's just take a closer look at this. This is the controller board for the screen. Now, the other thing that I found out that's neat about this board is that there are two ways to power your Raspberry Pi. One, when you put the power in here, you can use this USB as your power out and plug that directly into your Pi. Or the other way to do this is here with your five volt and ground. You can plug those into your Raspberry Pi and power your Pi that way. Let's get connecting. Okay, I'm not gonna put the last two screws in because I don't know if this is gonna work. Oh, you know what I really should have done? I really should have plugged this in over here before I... Okay, I'm gonna plug it in and see what happens. That's a good sign. Except it's upside down. That's it. This is just a vanilla install of uh, Raspbian. I only installed it insofar as I put Raspbian on it and I configured the wireless network. Other than that, it's default. No settings were changed in order to have this desktop display. And that's it. We have a winner. Actually, it's, it's pretty responsive, to be honest. I've got this plate display. Now the reason that I got this is we're going to play a movie when we're at Maker Faire. So let me just set that up. Interesting. Now because it's OMX player, it's uh, scrunched. It's not playing a uh, full full height here. It's interesting. Oh well, it's definitely some stuff to play with. This is a pretty nifty little, uh, it's a pretty nifty little bit of kit. Okay. Shut down. Shut down. I'm not sure how to use these. Uh, I might do that in a follow-up video.
So that has been the seven inch Raspberry Pi touchscreen. If you guys have any comments or questions, post them in the comment section below. Check the about section for relevant links to everything you've seen here, including all the stuff on my desk. In the about section, you'll also find a place to support this channel. You can support me on Patreon, or you can buy me a coffee if you found this video particularly useful. Thanks again for tuning in, guys. Don't forget to check out my other Raspberry Pi videos.